Election day is here for New Hampshire. There are still a few hours for people in the Granite State to vote in the primary election. And as you know, Pat Callahan has been in New Hampshire since last week, and he joins us now with the very latest from Manchester. Busy day, I assume, Pat. Sure thing, Lee and Lindsay. This day has been a long time coming. Candidates have been coming to New Hampshire for more than a year, building organizations, raising money, most importantly, meeting voters in that retail campaigning style face to face. And for those who survived, it all comes to a head tonight and they get to be judged by those voters. Uh, it, uh, th those who survived the process, they know they, that the voters here take this very seriously. For example, in the town of Nottingham, it's more than 4,000 voters there. The people in charge of the process, a turnout was vet steady today so far. The voters are apparently ready and eager to let their voices be heard. Now, people in New Hampshire, of course, get inundated by campaigns every four years. And because this is the first in the nation primary by state law, voters here have a lot of chances to see the candidates up close and judge who they like and don't like. And they've got an important role in this process of choosing a president. Bonnie Winona McKinnon is the moderator for the town of Nottingham, and she says people like the responsibility they have. The last presidential primary, both um, both parties had uh, had no incumbent, so it was even more intense. Mm. But primaries here are pretty intense because the New Hampshire voter takes them seriously, yeah. and and it's an important vote. In a way, it's almost more important than voting in the election because you get to help select who runs. Well, state officials have been projecting a strong turnout today. Perhaps it'll turn out to be a record for a year in which there's only one contested primary. One of the stories we're going to be following tonight is to see how well Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar does. She's been to New Hampshire dozens of times, and she says it wasn't until last Friday's debate that things really began to surge for her. NBC News political director Chuck Todd says there is a big opportunity for her here tonight. A third place finish certainly keeps her more than just alive. I think it allows her a chance to sort of uh, get a little bit more of top tier candidate treatment, right? She's been she's been fifth in a four and a half person race, you know, and all of a sudden you you top the both Elizabeth Warren a neighboring state and Joe Biden, you know, that's pretty good. I do think if she really wants to take off, beating Pete finishing second here. The, if she were a surprise second, she could do what Bill Clinton did in 92, make second place the winning slot. That's the opportunity she has. So tonight, the work of the campaigns comes to an end, and it's party time. Take a look. Pete Buttigieg headquarters will be in Nashville tonight. People aren't being let in until 7 o'clock. But you can bet they're going to have something to celebrate tonight if the polls are accurate and he finishes a strong second or perhaps makes a surprise first. Our new center main, Hannah's, Hannah Deneen, will be there as his volunteers and staffers await the results and hear from the candidate. And Don Carrigan will be at Bernie Sanders headquarters tonight here in Manchester. Well, much more to come from the New Hampshire primary on New Center Main at 530. Lee and Lindsay. All right, a lot going on, Pat. Thank you very much. Look forward to